As soon as I drive up, I feel held. I feel very warm. I feel very nurtured. I feel very loved. I like I wake up to myself and who I really am, you know? Like the man that I've always wanted to be suddenly is here and I can be him easily here. It's a sanctuary, it's a haven, it's a place for people to um, really feel their excellence and to feel their beauty. It's a wonderful place. I come here and I, I feel so serene, you know, so quiet, so calm, so peaceful. I need to go to Peace Village more often not literally, but inside myself. Uh, you might say we're in the, the spiritual hospitality business, right? So uh, people come here for the weekends, um, but instead of coming to swim or hike in the woods, although you can hike in the woods, but the point of coming here is really to, um, for most people, to get away from the day-to-day -day of their lives and to be in a community that's really uh, supportive of their most sort of inner needs, inner self. But retreat centers are able to accommodate people overnight and for a few days at a time perhaps and explore certain themes in depth, allowing people the time and the space uh, to really think differently from where, how they would think outside. Normal life is about busy, busy, busy with our Blackberries and our cell phones and everything else that we're so busy doing. And you come here, you turn everything off and you turn yourself on. And that's really what makes it so very, very special. And of course, incredible hospitality. It's magic. You know, it's really when people come in and people leave, the difference is really remarkable within the less than 48 hours of the stay that they have here. Just because they're giving themselves the opportunity to soak themselves in different set of vibrations. Peace Village is a home. And so what does a home mean to one? A place of safety, a place of comfort, uh, just all the feelings, the word home, that's what Peace Village means to me. Home brings to your heart, that's what Peace Village means to me. It's always, you know, a really good thing to be surrounded by like-minded people. And it's one thing like to like greet somebody and have them just be so open and so alive and so full of light, like that's one really great thing to receive in a community like this. But the other thing is like somebody will say something or somebody will tell a story or they'll remark about something and it will touch me, you know, and then I'll be like, ah, and it in me will begin to unfold like this whole new awareness of something. Everybody here is, treats you like you are her sisters or brother. It's so nice to be uh, in, it's re really uh, a caring place where you can be uh, very much loved. I feel that this is a place where individuals or families and community will come and in a very natural way experience that peace is something which is very innate. Peace is something which we can create. And if I experience inner peace, then I can create it. When people come here for retreats, one of the things that we inspire them or offer them is uh, to engage in some of the physical activities which we call karma yoga. Karma means action. So what is the effect of action, what I'm doing, what kind of actions I'm doing, and what is the impact on my life? And it's really um, a very unique experience that some people have here. 
because as simple and as ordinary as the job that they may be doing, which is kind of wiping tables or, you know, uh, sweeping the floor or whatever it may be, it gives a whole different meaning. Uh, just because of the new information that they have gathered, which is to say that, you know, they are spiritual beings expressing spiritual qualities through everything that they do. Raj Yoga is about being able to find that place of silence where we can truly experience ourselves. We, you know, we live in a world with external noise and then sometimes when we sit we have to deal with our own silence. Uh, so through Raj Yoga what I learned was there are dimensions of silence. I allow myself to really sit inside internal noise. then I really understand or have the experience of myself and from that clarity um, I can sort things out, I can have questions answered, I can see things in a, in a cleaner and a clearer way. There's something very attractive about something that's original and pure. That's why people are drawn to nature because it's still a part of the world that's kind of untouched by human hands. It is so close and it sits on top of an incredibly beautiful mountain. I think people in general are looking for that original experience of who they are, you know. If they can find that, I think people are very open and willing to do that. And the nature outside, I think, is a big help in doing that. Nature is part of the backdrop and it's very nice to be around nature because it supports uh, the peacefulness that we teach. People can come here, they sit, they're very quiet, they do meditation, they're in silence, they listen, and then they're able to go out and be physical and walk and run and explore into nature. And so the different elements that Peace Village can offer. What we teach here is, is kind of self-development and improving the self. You can come here to study inner power, or you can come here to study vegetarian cooking, or you can come here to um, be in silence. People can come here and really learn about themselves, understand themselves, and begin to experience uh, the very best of themselves, move into their excellence. So skills and tools, how to do that actually just how to become who they really are. When we got this place, we thought what name we should give to this place. Many, many beautiful names were suggested, but as soon as the suggestion came that it should be called Peace Village, I think that everyone felt that this is what it is. And um, of course, my sincere hope and desire is if it can happen in practical, that let everyone come and experience peace. But even if I know distance-wise, it's not feasible for everyone to be present. But I just want to say that if you create inner space with peace, if you fill your inner space with peace, then it's not just peace village, but it will become a peaceful world.